Hello, Air Signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to your tarot spread. You're probably sitting there wondering what this is. I have decided to lay out a few cards um, that will be read as a story, and it's a tarot story in regards to who is coming towards you for love and romance. Um, I'm straight away off the bat here. Uh, you, 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 are, you are starting off with the Ace of Pentacles, so... I feel like this is an exciting new connection uh, that the universe or the tarot cards, your spirit guides may want you to know about. Um, so I love that it is, in fact, starting off with the Ace of Pentacles. But look, I have laid out some cards here um, and I, I figured this may be something here that can help you identify this person, uh, can help you in finding love even maybe, um, but we'll see what the cards can reveal. So don't forget to like, share and subscribe if you enjoy this content. Um, otherwise, let's kick off the reading, shall we? Okay, let's kick off with the Ace of Pentacles. So new connection, a powerful new person, new connection or a new type of romance is coming into your life. Um, it's going to open up a new stage or a new doorway into a new fantastic part of yourself. Um, the Knight of Pentacles is someone who's coming up as very well presented, someone who's wealthy, they're quite worldly, they're attractive. There's someone presenting themselves um, very attractively. So it's someone that's hard to miss, okay? Um, the Two of Cups could indicate this as a soulmate or a twin flame coming up around you. Congratulations. It's also indicating this is a face-to-face -face meeting that may be happening around Leo season. Um, or it can be someone who's under the sign of Leo. So you've got a very proud energy or someone you're going to be very proud of. Um, but there's face-to-face -face connection here. There is something around engagement or marriage around this person either before uh, or they may want this fairly early on in your relationship. The Six of Pentacles, after you meet, there's going to be a line drawn in the sand. So it's it's almost pointing to one of you is going to be more interested or more invested than the other. So you're going to have to get the relationship to a bit of a leveled playing field Um level playing field here is what I'm seeing. Um, balance is going to be required and to bring that ba that balance, you're going to have, um, you're going to need patience with the temperance card and there's also need to, uh, there needs to be honesty in a situation, either from your side or from theirs. This is Sagittarius energy. Um, it's showing that you need to take time away or time apart, um, but ultimately there's a message here that the two of you will balance each other out, which is fantastic. The Page of Pentacles, um, especially for the top layer, I feel like the first part of the relationship is all about showmanship. Um, it's about impressing each other, what we have. You know, there's. Um, I feel like this person is going to put you on a pedestal, which is fantastic. But I also feel like there's immature parts you're going to start to see of this person with that Page of Pentacles. Now, moving on, you've got the marriage card very early on in the spread. So for some of you, this is a quick marriage, a quick engagement, even a, shot, um, a shotgun wedding um, happening here. Okay, this is the marriage marriage card. For some of you, you may even at that stage find out that your person has been married or is still married. Okay, so that's going to chuck some things in reverse here uh, as indicated by the Seven of Cups. So after you find this out or after you get married or engaged or whatever this is that you're discovering air signs, um, it's going to really uh, take away all your doubts and you're going to finally know how you feel about this person. So it may have taken you a while to get there, um, but I think this is what needs to happen um, as, as, as things go by. Um, you're going to be very non-tolerant of things and as a result, this may cause a few ruffles. There's some fights or arguments or um, collisions happening with the fight of ones other people are going to start to be in your ear about this person or about this relationship so be careful about gossip and about rumors friends or family coming into the picture here everyone's got something to say um, and it's going to activate some thoughts especially as air energy um, the four of uh, cups tells me that you're going to have an epiphany about this person or about this relationship um, it could also be that whilst you're fighting with this person or encountering some disagreements together, uh, the next card over the Four of um, Cups would indicate that there is an epiphany that needs to come out of this. So you must trust the process of disagreement or dysfunction because something is going to come to light from that. Um, there could be some issues of trust, accusations or paranoia coming up with the Seven of Wands. One of you may start to have resistance towards something in the relationship, okay? Taking the first step, moving in together, trust issues, um, paranoia. 
this is going to need to be worked on because it's going to halt the relationship with the Knight of Pentacles. Um, Knight of Pentacles is a protected energy. So the more one person is going to push, the more the other is going to protect or resist. So it would be wise to know that as you encounter the relationship um, is what I'm seeing here. This person is fairly... Um, uh, is it, at, at this stage of your life, I feel like they're going to be a fairly um, constant presence in your life, which is good. It shows that this person is going is always going to show up, or there is still a presence in your life um, for this reason or another. Now, the next card is the Ten of Wands. We're seeing some hardships that are coming up here. Now, there's pressures pressures that face the family card. So I'm seeing a lot of family pressure, pressure to settle down, pressure to get married coming up around yourself or this person. Um, the Ten of Wands it makes me feel like like there is right before you settle down, you move in together, start a family together, maybe there's going to be a lot of these elemental pressures coming up around you. But again, I think it's important that you trust that process um, and see how things progress as the relationship progresses within itself as well. The fact that you do have the Ten of Cups card here in this relationship very well could indicate that this person can give you a happy family home. So yay, you know, the family unit. Um, they could be the stepmother, the stepfather. Um, they could be the person you end up having children with. It is a card of happily ever afters. So the Ten of Cups, you can very well find your happily ever after with this person. Um, but the next card, the Magician Reversed, is telling me that a part of you is going to lose your sense of independence in this relationship or your identity. So it's important at this stage of the connection that you have your own hobbies, interests, ambitions, pursuits, and your own time to yourself. Otherwise, it's going to merge. You're going to depend on this person way too much, um, and it might not be healthy for yourself or for the relationship either. Um but this is independence, but it's almost like a suffocating energy because it's reversed. Again, it can be your person that will make you feel this way at this stage. It can lead to someone's steadiness. We're seeing the queen, the queen of pentacles reversed. So there is some dysfunction here in the happy family home. Um, you may have a disagreement about the way you raise kids, the kind of furniture you want in your home, the kind of area you want to live in, um, the kind of life that you really want. It's, it's reversed here. So it's important that um, you pay attention to money and to stability. Uh, and, and also to romance um, in the relationship at this stage. The next card over is the King of Wands, a strong fire energy. So this is you reigniting your passion once again, finding a spark, becoming intimate again, um, or your attraction being the thing that brings the two of you back together following a period of instability. Um, the, the King of Wands is also telling me there's a travel opportunity, uh, visa opportunities with this person. You may even live abroad. This connection can take you far and wide. Um, to wrap up the reading, though, we are seeing the hangman, which is about le being left in suspense. So straight away, it makes me think that at this point in the relationship, there is something missing for you, um, or there is something you feel like you're not receiving enough of, or you may not be feeling like you're getting the most out of this relationship. So obviously, each situation is going to be very different, and you may identify with different parts of this spread you may be in the early parts you may be meeting this person maybe you've recently settled down um but look it's important to keep an open mind and an open heart with these things because um things can take place very differently um but this can be a helpful guide for you as to what can happen or where you may be in these stages of this person that is in your life or is coming towards you so um, really fantastic read air signs i really appreciate you joining me please don't forget to like share subscribe and also if you were after private reading please feel free to be in touch um, otherwise we shall be connecting very soon so thanks again much love and bye for now